never. Are you, are you from a Christian background? No, no background really. Like just kind of okay. atheist and, and agnostic. You know him? Yes. And he's a Muslim. Yes. Alright, okay. But yeah, I have like a lot of Muslim friends. Alright, uh, Sister Twan, thank you for uh, stopping here. Yeah, and, thank you uh, very much. Thank you for acknowledging that heavy conversation uh, with us. Uh, all we do here is share Islam to people. Yes. Uh, do you know much about Islam? A little bit, not too much, but I have like a lot of Muslim friends, but I don't know too much. What did they tell you about Islam? Peaceful. Peaceful, that's a very good... Yes. Because actually... Uh, the name Islam actually means uh, submission and surrender. Mm-hmm. So whoever follows the Islamic principle, yes. they will have peace in their life. Yes. So establishment of Islam in life will make you peace. So yes. That was actually Islam means, but actually Islam means submission uh-huh. and surrender. Do you know where to submit? No. So we submit to Allah. Yes. The the three, the I don't want to say and then get yeah, it wrong. Minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. We'll have a 10 minute conversation because I would like to go. But... Uh, I was gonna ask you, uh, do you believe in the creator? Um, I say I'm open, like I don't have any definitive pure belief of yes there is or no there isn't. Like I'm just more so open mm. to the idea that there could be. I would never say oh no there's not, but I can never say with a hundred percent certainty that there is. So, so I'm you, just open. Um, are you saying yourself as a most likely agnostic position? Agnostic, yeah, that's definitely what I refer to myself to typically. Yeah. And are you always like that or? Have I always been like, yeah, I'd say I've always kind of been like that growing up, like typically just kind of more mm-hmm. open. Yeah. You don't have any religious experience growing um, up? Growing up, yeah, I'm also Christian, Christianity, yeah. like in my household a little yeah. bit, but I just didn't really, I don't know, I felt like it was forced upon me, so I just didn't like Do it. Do you like to go to church or? I did a little bit, but not much, but I don't know, I, like, I don't like when things are forced upon me. I like to be able to freely explore things and I think that's why... I just didn't really get into Christianity when I was younger. I felt like it was something that was put on me. So I just, I like so, that. I keep an open mind. Um, so I say, uh, this something has been pushed down to you uh-huh. rather than you intellectually convinced, right? Yeah. So Islam, uh, uh, the, the concept is very simple. Uh-huh. And if you look at the concept, you will, I'm sure you will see how rationality is, right? Yes. So we believe in one creator. Yes. Do you have an issue with that? No, it's fine. Fine. Yes. And that creator, God, um, you know, the creator defined himself as, uh, which is um, chapter number 112, right? Mm-hmm. And it said, say, O prophet, he is God, one, and indivisible mm-hmm. which is me one is one and absolute basically Allahu Samad which is God the sustainer needed by all uh-huh. so like your life everything we received right yes these are sustainers so but yet he doesn't need sustainers mm-hmm. like you know in, in uh, some some uh, religious people they believe God also become a man and you know he depend on food sleep and drink sure. and save them he's God but in Islam we don't say that sure. we say God is perfect he's mm-hmm. maximally perfect he's all knowing all hearing and he is the sustainer of all yep. and he is self sustaining mm-hmm. he has never had offspring nor he was born so basically he doesn't have a father neither he has a son mm-hmm. and the fourth line saying and there is none comparable to him so you cannot compare anything with god yeah means anything we see and know and observe there is nothing in the creation like god sure so god is unlike the creation yes does that make sense yes that makes sense now uh, that that is basically the ultimate um definition of god sure Uh, the second question would be like why we are here why are we here? Yeah. Because I was walking past him and I seen him say that it was <laughs> yeah. free. I had free. No, I mean, the ultimate purpose of one life. Ah, oh, like, why are we here on yeah. earth? Yeah. I don't know. That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> That's a very good question. Looking, yeah. Sure. Um, and, and we believe in Islam. That mm-hmm. How we see it, we see that God created us. Mm-hmm. Therefore, he should tell us how should we live our life. I mean, if I say, if I define my purpose, it would be very subjective because how do I know that what is my purpose? Because I didn't create myself. Mm-hmm. Now, logic dictates that I should look into 
my maker and mm -hmm. we ha I have to look into what my maker has to say about my purpose, right? Sure. Now then Allah sends this book mm -hmm. and he tells us that وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَى إِلَّا الْيَعْمُ I have created mankind and jinn kind to worship me. Yeah. Uh, and worship me means submission and surrender. Sure. First point is you submit, means you become a Muslim. And then you pray five daily prayers. Yes. So you acknowledge Allah, the ultimate true God. Muhammad is a messenger of God. Sure. Life is a test. Mm -hmm. And and this life, in this life, um, you know, we have purpose, which is uh, giving the gods right and mm -hmm. human rights. Like sure. human rights is you know, be kind, compassion, and be good to others. Mm -hmm. And living in a society. Be a person of uh, be a person to help other people. At yeah. the same time, you have give the right of God. Yes. And give the right of God means show gratitude, and gratitude by listening to the command that God sent mm -hmm. uh, uh, through the books. And these books, uh, God sent every time. God sent books with His messenger. Mm -hmm. Without messenger, you don't know how to do that, right? Imagine how to pray. Yes. If the messenger doesn't show you how you do it. Yes. So that's why we believe God sent all the messenger to tell people how to worship mm -hmm. God alone. Sure. And Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a perfect example. And he was a messenger for all entire humanity. In fact, God tell us in the Quran, Allah mm -hmm. said, arsalna ka illa rahmata lil alameen. That Allah sent Muhammad as a mercy for mankind. What is mercy? Mercy means what? What is the greatest mercy? Means showing you the, the right direction. Mm -hmm. Means the ultimate truth is once we die, where are we going? Sure. And if you follow his path, then you can save from the suffering. Mm -hmm. So in Islam, we believe yep. the concept of heaven and hell. Yes. So very simplistically, if we put, Allah tells us that <clears throat> if you believe and follow the good words. Mm -hmm then you will go to the paradise. Yes. If you disbelieve, reject God, and shun the right of God, means you don't worship God, you don't acknowledge God, and you involve yourself in criminal activities, mm -hmm. you'll end up in suffering. Wow. And now, God is constantly reminding you, mm -hmm. so he showed you that two roads, yeah? mm -hmm. like road A and road B. Mm -hmm. And he's encouraging constantly to follow the road A. Yes, sir. And he's keep telling you what you will get. Yes. If you follow road A. Mm -hmm. And he keep warning you, please don't follow road B. Yes. Like 10, 15, 20 reminders a day. Sure. Imagine, imagine I tell you, don't just cross the road sure. in the next five minutes. Right? Okay. And... Now I have given you, like, let's say, 10 warnings already. Uh -huh. Now, what you have done in next two minutes, you disregarded my comment, and you crossed the road, and you picked the leg. You Who would you blame? Very Who would you blame? You know why? You know why? Now imagine if you cross the road uh -huh. after hearing my word. Sure. Sure. So therefore, whoever goes to the fire and suffering, mm -hmm. they will be constantly rejecting God's command sure. after a several reminder came to them. Make sense? Yeah. Now, having said that, do you believe the concept of God that I have explained to you? Do you believe? Sure. But I'm still very open, not just in a sense, but I'm still... But, I do you it. Agree. but what we say in Islam, there can't be multiple truths at the same time. Mm -hmm. There will be only one God and only one religion. And you sure. can objectively test it. For example, God one or God three in one, which one makes sense? Depends. When, when you say depend, what do you mean? No, because there's different religions and multiple No, no, different God. religion. Sure. We tackle one concept at a time. Sure. God is one and he is the ultimate creator. Sure. And he is all perfect. Sure. Maximally perfect. Mm -hmm. All knowing. He is all powerful, mm -hmm. and he is able to, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, he has all the godly attribute, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have the attribute of human like, sure. you know, uh, a defect uh, and imperfect. These things doesn't applicable to the God. Sure. 
now you have another concept of God who is God in one point, another mm-hmm. point man. Sometimes God incapable, sometimes man incapable. Mm-hmm. Confused dot com, right? Sure, I guess. Yeah, Trinity, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That makes some cool up. Yeah, yeah. So, so you see, you can just look into the concept of God, and you can clearly see, you know, Islam mm-hmm. makes sense because how can someone eat, sleep, yeah, mm-hmm. go to the toilet? And he is dependent on things. Mm-hmm. The God, you see, God is independent of, sure. uh, yeah, sustainer. So we believe Islam gives the true concept of God, mm-hmm. and on the submission of God, you will get ent- the ultimate peace. Sure. In this world and the world after. But anyway, on that note, of course, you don't have much time. Sure. And we are closing off soon. So. Perfect. You are welcome again, you know, but have a read through the sure, book. And, and the purpose is, this book actually tell you um, uh, yeah. the, uh, the comprehensive uh, information about Islam. It talks yeah. about the prophets and their mission and, and the books and the Jesus, Moses and Muhammad.